Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and just time once again. Um, here, let me go ahead and intro this real quick. Or let me, uh, let me clear out one or two of these windows. Okay, that should do it. But, anyway, let, once again, let me go ahead and intro this. Uh, this is gonna be Minneapolis Drive. Uh, kind of the same thing as yesterday. And let me, uh, so I figured it just it seems to be the trend that I've been doing lately just doing uh, city drives and city walks and stuff like that so a little bit on the loud side so we go ahead and turn it down a bit uh, but and kind of the same thing. Um, this is going to be both a cast and a commentary vid. So. But anyway, to start with, uh, pinball stream. It, um, overall, eh, it went all right. Um, I mean, FX3, FX3 did pretty good. Um, I think I might have won a tournament or two. I can't remember, but, but again, uh, FX3 won pretty good. But, uh, pinball arcade, however, it was absolute shit. It just I couldn't get anything going. Um, it was almost as bad as uh, it was almost as bad as Zachariah. So, with that in mind, I just went ahead and bailed out of Pinball Arcade early, and then just went up, uh, and then just went right over to Zachariah, where, not surprisingly, I actually did pretty damn good. Um, I think uh. I lasted at least a minute on most of the tables. So, this was another one of those days where Zachariah Pinball actually went better than Pinball Arcade. So, oh, I'm about, I'm about to take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. <laughs> that was a little bit of a California stop there. That's all right. I do those all the time, especially when there's nobody around. Crazy as it might sound, they should modify stop signs to where stop when other people are present. But if there ain't nobody around, just run them. It was, uh, the, uh, city planner Charles Marone um, he was the author of one of my favorite books Strong Towns he kind of said the same thing too it's like it's like two different types of uh, what is it? two different types of law systems eh. hang on we well, yeah, two different types of law systems there's there's a uh, orderly but dumb or chaotic but smart like orderly but dumb is what he's doing right now like he's again there's not a soul around but he's stopping at every single stop said see this is when you should stop when there's other cars around you know again there's um orderly or is it orderly but dumb chaotic but smart you know, so, yeah, um, chaotic but smart, technically, yeah, you're breaking the law. But, I mean, what's the point in sitting at a stop sign where there's nothing around to stop for? So, you know, I mean, just go. And in case anyone asks, no, I don't outright, out, I don't outright run stop signs or stoplights or anything. But, uh, if, I mean, I'm sure as hell I'm not going to sit there and, go to a full three second stop and then go. I mean, there ain't nobody around, just do like a rolling stop. Um, stop lights. Um, I'll stop at a red light, but uh, if I have to wait too long, I just run it. I mean, because it, that there is pretty much the fault of the uh, fault of the stoplight for not noticing me. Like there's a, there's an issue with the sensor or something, but that, happens quite a bit where I live. Sometimes I'll even get skipped. I'll be waiting on a red light 
and then when the, uh, the lights change over from one direction to the other, I'll get completely skipped. But when that happens, I'll just run it. And then, um, one other thing I did today is, um, I decided to fire up some Final Fantasy XIV and, um, and for this year, I'll probably have to put this one on pause. At least for a moment. Um, but yeah. And I did forget to mention at the start of this cast that, yeah, there's going to be a fair amount of moving parts in here, so don't be surprised if mistakes get made. Uh, but anyway, I um, decided to play some Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, brand spanking new patch came out. I uh, decided to check it out. Uh, I checked out some PvP, and... um. Uh, one thing I definitely love about, about the uh, new patch, character portraits. Like, you can, um, you know, you can put your profile on here, you can put your own, you know, you can make your own portrait and stuff like that. And, uh, there's even a, at least one PvP mode where we're doing this, like, uh, the 5 versus 5 mode. Like, before the match starts, it'll, uh, It'll show your five-man team. I don't know about the other modes. I know it doesn't work when dueling. But again, when doing a five-on-five, five, um, it'll like, you know, it'll show the uh, character roster and all your, your the profile pictures and all that. So I thought that was pretty neat. And because, because back in the day, up until now, if you really wanted to get a, cl get a close look at somebody, um, you would you'd pretty much have to You'd have to turn the interface off. You'd basically have to run right up close to them, put the camera on them, in order to see, you know, in order to see what they're wearing and that kind of thing. So, it was to me. I mean, granted, I mean, I'm not saying that the portrait system that they have now isn't like not creepy at all. But I would, I would still rather have something like this than to actually have to run up and stand right next to them and stare at them. But yeah, um, but yeah, I think I'd, uh, I think I did a five on five PVP and I also did a duel, like a one on one duel. So that's something else I'm probably going to be taking up here too. And then, um, yeah, that's the sunrise. And then while, while this is kind of going, while this is going on, there is something else I forgot to mention. I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll have to look this up. So. Alright, there might be a, there might be a blue patch that'll pop up. I'll try to stop it though. This may not work. Uh, let me size it down a bit. Uh, we are freezing up. There we go. But uh, one other thing I started watching was um, watch some more women's rugby. Um, Scotland versus England. Um, I got as I got as far as like the first. 10 15 minutes of it but uh England was in the England already uh they had already scored in three tries that's the uh, football equi or rugby equivalent of a touchdown in American football but they had already scored three touchdowns on them or three tries excuse me so and it wasn't even the game wasn't even halfway done so it looked like England was going to come away with that one and then one more one more thing I definitely got to bring up um uh,
Uh. I might have found what I'm looking for. Nope. This wasn't it. Anyway, I can't, uh, I can't find it, but, uh, I guess during the, uh, they, uh, our, our rugby team, our U.S. rugby team, um, I think they went up against England recently, and, and I think they lost, like, 86 to nothing. So, kind of shows, shows you where we're at on the rugby scene. I think, um, uh, I forget the name. I forget the name of the uh, conference that our that our country's in. But uh, I think we're I think we're in like sixth place. I think I would have been dead last. I mean, if we're excuse me, if we're getting our ass kicked like that, like eighty six to nothing, I thought we we would have been like tenth or something. But no, we're sixth. Kind of makes me wonder what uh where we are or what the other. What the other three or four teams under us are. Yeah. I suppose I could probably look. So. Uh. Surprisingly, we must have a pretty solid team. Okay, once again, there um there might be a there might be a blue patch that came that comes up, but I'll try to stop it as quickly as I can. Again, let me. Hang on, we froze up. There it goes. But. Yeah, uh, New Zealand's number one, not surprisingly. I mean, they're the basically the rugby capital of the world, the top three. No surprises there. Um. Ireland and Canada, yeah, they're they're more into rugby than we are. Um, and then for the bit for the big surprise, um, we're we're number six. I mean, we're not we're not known for our rugby. I mean, in fact, the uh, the sport of football was created because uh, the sport of rugby was too violent. So, and big surprise is uh, Australia. I mean, Australia was actually uh one of the best rugby countries in the world. So, that's a bit surprising. Um, Italy, Spain, and they're, they're not like, uh, they're not like England or New Zealand, but they're, I mean, they're, they're more into it than we are. So, and then Wales, kind of the same thing. I mean, I mean, again, Wales, they're not the, uh, they're not the powerhouses that uh, New Zealand and England are, but they're more into rugby than we are. So, yeah, a bit of a surprise there. So. Some of this is kind of looking familiar.
Okay, so... Oh, excuse me. So, looks like that's going to do it for me. Um, Actually, the... Um, the bit about the bit about rugby was just something I threw in there at the very last second. Um, I didn't um, I didn't think this cast would have ended this, sh or I guess I kind of came up short with uh, with uh, putting stuff together to make this video. So the rugby stuff was more of a filler. Um, but but otherwise, yeah, like I said, um, that's gonna that's gonna do it for me. So, uh, but. But yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in. Listen to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, and I should be able to do this tomorrow morning, and which w which will be my last one for the week. So, so until then, uh, take care and see you all next time, everybody. Bye for now. Hopefully, I'll have more stuff. <laughs>